Hey guys, it's Arika Misha in the kitchen and doing what I do. And today, just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek at what we're going to be cooking today. Today, I'm going to try the chicken drumstick lollipops by the famous Wall Burger family. You guys know who they are. Let me see if I can get this glare off. Okay, yeah, I saw Publix had these, so I said, you know what? Let me give them a try. And I'm going to be doing my yellow Mahatma rice. Y'all know I love that. And we're going to be doing the Kirby black beans. Okay, and over here, I just wanted to give you guys a look as to what they look like. I've got them in the sink, throwing out. And basically, they just look like drumsticks with the skin peeled back. I mean, that's pretty much, you know, what a lollipop, chicken lollipop is. So, just so you guys know. And you know what? Each bag does hold a lot. So, I just wanted to come and show you guys what we'll be cooking. And I will be back to get to the good part. Okay, guys, I'm back. All right, and I've got the chicken all nice and seasoned up. Season it how you want. I put a little water in the bottom of the pan just to give me a little steam. Dropped a couple pieces of butter in there. Just went to come and give y'all a little sneak peek. I mean, they look like regular drumsticks to me just with the skin peeled back. I mean, okay. I mean, you know, they don't look like nothing special, but we'll see. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this in the oven, guys. Uh, I'm going to put it, I've got my oven set at 375 degrees. Uh, I think... Should take about maybe 30 minutes. We'll see, guys. I'll be back. Okay, guys, my chicken is about to come out. I uh, just wanted to come and show you guys our black beans. Can't really see the black beans down there, but the black beans are all nice and cooked up. And the yellow rice is all nice and fluffy back there. Y'all know I love that Mahatma yellow rice. I didn't want to really focus on the black beans and yellow rice. Y'all know that's quick and easy to cook. Um, I just wanted to focus on, the focus to be on the chicken. So, oh, and I forgot to show y'all. After I get the chicken all roasted and toasted in the oven, I've got this Iron Chef orange sauce glazed with ginger. So I'm going to drizzle that over the chicken. So it's going to be like an orange chicken with the yellow rice and the black beans. So, I'm excited. This is pretty much all the stuff that I've been craving. Black beans, yellow rice, and uh, orange sauce. So, orange chicken, really. So, alright guys, I'll be back to show y'all that chicken. I'm getting ready to pull it out the oven. And then you guys will see how I'm going to brush that um, orange sauce over the chicken. Okay guys, we are back. As you guys can see, the chicken is all nice and roasted. And just so you guys know, I did change my mind. I did not bake it. I changed it to broil. I broiled the chicken for about 20 minutes at 525. Yeah, I decided to do it that way. That way it can be crunchier. You know, when I put the sauce on it, it'll still have that crunch to it. But um, yes, I've got my little handy dandy brush. And I've got my... Um, orange sauce i'm gonna pour it across my chicken oh my god this orange sauce is really good and that ginger just gives it life i'm gonna pour this across and then i'm gonna put it back in under the broil i'm gonna put it under there until it about five minutes until it roasts the uh orange sauce into my chicken and you know what i thought of i could do this with um with this orange sauce I can use like a chicken breast, like a boneless, skinless chicken breast, or, you know, whatever you want to use it for. But orange sauce, you know what, I can use it with pork too. So, I am pouring the orange sauce on here, oh my goodness. Okay, so let me get this brushed across. Y'all see, I'm just going to brush it across the top. And I'm going to put it back in, like I said, I'm going to put it back in a roller for about five minutes so it can bake into the chicken and give the chicken that uh, orange flavor and the ginger oh my goodness the ginger makes it taste so so good so good have you ever had the orange chicken from the Chinese restaurants oh yeah I think I'm gonna put a little bit more sauce on it so I got a little bit more in my jar I don't think I want to do too much. I think that's enough. I don't want to do too much. Because I already seasoned my chicken. So, I'll just have some leftover orange sauce. I can use that for whatever I want. I might pour a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to pour a little bit more. 
across my chicken because I have so much left so well, not really so much but just gonna take it across the chicken like that yeah I'll go ahead and finish the jar that way some can fall at the bottom and get underneath okay all right I'm just gonna brush it brush it like that oh my goodness I wish y'all could smell this it smells so so good mmm 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 amazing mm. hold on let me pick y'all up yeah I got my little handheld tripod today Ooh, so that way I can take y'all in do y'all understand what I'm talking about mmm mmm yes Ooh -wee. delicious I'm going to leave y'all right there. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the oven for about 5 minutes. And then when I come back, it's going to be the grand finale. Okay, guys, we are back with the grand finale. And I put it in for 5 minutes. And as you can see, that orange sauce is all nice and baked into our chicken. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, yeah. Looks amazing. Smell amazing. I am ready to eat. Got our yellow rice over there looking good my hot my yellow rice and our black beans oh yeah they are ready all right well y'all seen it y'all seen me do it so you know i did it this is arika misha thank you so much for watching don't forget to follow me on all my social media at arika misha that's instagram facebook and of course youtube and don't forget guys that knowledge is power thanks guys bye